Hello and welcome to your Vedic Lunar Scope for today, the 15th of August, 2015. The moon today will enter the early portion of the sign of Virgo as it transits its way through the nakshatra of Purvapalguni. Chances are that it's not going as well as you would like for it to today. Perhaps it's not even going at all, or at least it feels that way. And this is something which can be highly unnerving to you and can ultimately drive you to distraction if you let it do so. But keep in mind the slight fact that sometimes, and this happens for all of us, but sometimes it's possible to get into a space where feeling sorry for your plight in life somehow brings you a per perverse pleasure right? It's um, what, what people like to call the victim mentality. So, so rather than uh, stand in our strength and work better in tandem with our higher self and recognize ourselves as successful, even if we're making mistakes along the way or things aren't going our way, rather than do that, we tend to get into this space where we go, oh, the universe hates me, whatever it is you want to call it, God hates me, and I'm, I'm just, you know, this person who's, you know, got it poorly or badly in life. And ultimately, that doesn't lead to anything other than down into a deep hole. It's a waste of time that could be better spent. And since things don't seem to be moving for you today, you're likely wondering, well, how could it be better spent? Well, by looking at a couple of things which will be exceptionally helpful today. Firstly, rather than burn with frustration inside of yourself at things not going your way, instead use that same energy to get rid of all the internal blockages that are impeding your success at this moment. For instance, why not get rid of the enjoyment of feeling sorry for yourself. Get rid of that. It's, it's not good to feel sorry for yourself. You, you have no reason to feel like a victim and every reason to recognize that each moment in your life ultimately is leading you down a more prosperous path. It's just sometimes where we have to encounter little detours that bring us up against a challenge so that we can learn from those particular sets of circumstances. Secondarily, Choose to see the pause in the action which you're now encountering as a time for reflection, gathering together information, and for seeking insight. There is wisdom on offer to you at this moment if you only choose to listen to it, both without and from inside of yourself. Allow it to guide your next steps and you'll stand less of a chance on faltering on the course. Porvapal Guni is a kama-driven nakshatra. It's driven by desire, and it's ruled by Venus. And when Venus isn't, um, well, for lack of a better way to put it, very well supported, it can lead to problems with Porvapal Guni, which generally tend to decline into feelings of sensuality and sometimes about things that aren't so good to enjoy, as in today, as, as we've been discussing. Um, Porva Palguni is symbolized by a sofa. The idea here is a space of rest, a space of pulling oneself together, right? It's also been um, associated with a platform, and platforms used to be used in ancient times by teachers who would share information with students. So the idea here is bringing together information that might help you to work uh, in better harmony with yourself. Because another thing that the Palgunis are about, both Purva Palguni and Uttara Palguni, which is tomorrow's nakshatra, is the divine contract. How can I work more in harmony with myself rather than against myself? The uh, lunar tithi or lunar day today is Shukla Pratipada. Shukla Pratipada is the first day of the bright half of the moon. And there's a very um, burning energy with this particular nakshatra. But it's burning inside of yourself and in not such a helpful manner. And it's giving growth to things that, well, that aren't quite so beneficial for you, and you're blocking yourself 
rather than helping yourself out. You're not choosing to see something which um, is likely present in your life, offering you insight and guidance. You're, you're choosing to ignore it when instead you need to be listening to it. The solar lunar yoga today is Shiva. Uh, Shiva obviously being the uh, great dancer who dances at the end of time and marks the complete negation of all of existence. And then what happens is we kind of wait in a period in between before the next phase comes into being right? So right now, there are actually developments taking place in your life. And if you can choose, and you can choose, to understand that, and perhaps look for the little things that are happening, which you might otherwise miss, well, you can actually see how things are actually working in your favor, rather than against you. More is happening than you might think is. It's just that you need to give things a little bit of time today um, to gather together. And you need to listen and you need to pay attention rather than giving in to those feelings of going, oh, well, this is no good. Instead, just go, okay, what can I do with this? That's the better way to spend your day today. If you could use a little bit of guidance with a difficult situation which you might be encountering, I should mention that I do offer several tiers of astrological service which are available through the astrological services page of my website. You should see a link to that page in the left-hand corner of this video at the moment. In addition, I wanted to mention that the uh, Nakshatra course, which I've been working on with fellow astrologer Ryan Korzak, is due to be released sometime around mid-September, um, if not earlier. So you can look for that in the future. Um, also, I will be starting a more advanced webinar course. For those of you who are interested in more advanced predictive techniques, this will entail learning techniques from the Jainini School of Astrology, uh, learning how to work with uh, Vinshotri Dasha, or planetary periods more efficiently, and using something called trigger transits, and combining the three to narrow down a predictive window, and get some very accurate information from doing so. Uh, that's going to do it for your Vedic Lunar Scope for today, the 15th of August, 2015. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.